Hey everyone, it's Ivan at Kibadger.com, here to bring you a little look into Violent Little Machine Shop. My first interaction with Violent Little Machine Shop was a while ago when I was trying to get some patches made. I saw a little article posting on Soldier Systems, great industry blog, and it was talking about, hey, Violent Little Machine Shop making these leather patches. I was like, that's pretty cool. Long story short, ended up getting some patches made, and since then, kind of follow their progress and finally was fortunate enough to actually go meet up with them down in Ketchum, Idaho. Kind of talk to them, see their creative process and find out what they're all about. Hi, Jan Root here, Violent Little Machine Shop in the woods. The mission of Violent Little Machine Shop um, was originally just a, you know, for me to be able to make a living and as more and more of my friends and you know military buddies started coming on board the mission really changed to being able to just pass on the skills that we were learning to them so that they could then do that for themselves um, and as people have come on board that haven't been my friends um, just regular people that we've needed to hire uh, it's kind of kept with that and now that's that's kind of what we focus on we're trying to figure out what the best model is for working um, and, and being creative and, and creating products and having fun and everybody gaining skills to be able to uh, live their best life. The Violent Little Machine Shop creative process, I would say, you know, up until fairly recently, it was, I don't think it was really a process. It was just us getting together I mean, whether we knew it was a process or not, it was us getting together and coming up with ideas and, you know, just doing what military people do when they get together is, you know, they spout off movie quotes to each other and play jokes on each other and clown each other. And um, so that was kind of, you know, what we did. And just because we were doing the stuff that we thought was funny, there were enough people that thought you know, that what we were doing resonated with them. So that's why I think it worked. Nowadays, the process is a lot more uh, group oriented. So it's not just me being like, let's make this today or that. It's more, how do we get other people on this creative um, path where they can come up with ideas on the spot. And there's all sorts of little kind of exercises and experiments you can do to kind of play around with that. We change environment quite a bit. We write little warm-up lists uh, to start the day sometimes. Um, we go on hikes, we take trips, we... all sorts of experiments. Let me introduce you to the Violent Little team. Chris, why don't you come in frame for a second? Join us here. The camera, this Hello. is Chris. He's from Florida. The land of meth and mosquitoes. He just got here. He is, um, he's going to be our bouncer. Yeah, ain't nobody getting into Violent Little Machine Shop. Today I'd like to introduce Emily from Violent Little Machine Shop. She handles all the computer stuff and such. Hello. I actually don't do any of that. I uh, normally just play with my crystal all day and eat tapioca pudding. This is Nate. He likes to eat uh, boiled cheeseburgers off the ground after he got it from the gas station nearby. I can waste it. My name's Nate. My favorite thing about working at Violent Little Machine Shop is being able to be creative and not being considered a liability because of my sense of humor, like I have in every other job ever. My favorite thing about working at Violent Little Machine Shop is having my toes licked by Stanley. That's a dog, not a human. My favorite thing about working at Violent Little Machine Shop is that I don't actually work at Violent Little Machine Shop. My favorite thing about Violent Little Machine Shop is the day drinking. All the day drinking. You can visit us in person in Ketchum, Idaho at 791 Warm Springs Road. You can see our brand new sidewalks that they're putting in right now. It's a huge project. It's going to make us look great. So it's okay to come inside. Overall, pretty stoked to get down there, hang out with the crew, and see what they're all about. 
Sense of humor might not be for everyone, but they have some pretty funny stuff. I especially like their greeting cards. One thing that is really cool about them is being as small as they are, they're also really nimble. So they'll come up with things like right away to take advantage of stuff. Whether it's ridiculous kind of social political commentary or when there's natural disasters, they have a pretty awesome track record of creating something to directly support that. So they'll make a special patch for a hurricane by way of example, and donate all those proceeds to a good charity that is actually doing good work to help people affected by said hurricane. And I think that's pretty cool to see in these different companies. If you're looking for some cool patches or maybe some greeting cards for people you do or do not like, go over, check out Violent Little Machine Shop. They have a lot of pretty cool stuff going on over there. And if you like the content I create, I would very much appreciate your support, whether it's honestly just sharing videos or maybe picking up some of my targets over at kitbadger.com forward slash shop, or maybe even supporting my content through Patreon. It means a lot. Thank you for it. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>